Hey guys, what is up? So today's video, I'm actually going to be giving you a final update on Agnes Castus. Now, I've been taking Agnes Castus for about three months now in tincture form, and the reason I've been taking it is more for, one, regulating my cycle, but also by regulating my cycle, also helping to improve any kind of hormonal breakouts. So um, yeah, they're the two main reasons for using it, but definitely number one is more for like just regulating my cycle, because basically my cycle before was, um, it was, I guess, regular in the sense of it came at the same like distance apart each month, but it was longer than it should be. So what I mean by that is my cycle was coming every, let's say, 40 to 45 days, um, whereas it should come every, like, we, you know, 28 days is what they say. So in today's video, I just want to share my experience using this herb um, and if it has actually worked for me. So firstly, I actually have been taking a very low dose of this, even from the beginning when I started it. So on the back of my, um, what's it called, bottle that I have, you can take two to three meals up to three times a day. And I've actually only been doing it once a day. So honestly, when I first started taking this, you know, for the first like couple of weeks, I didn't see any difference. Um, because really the only kind of measure I was really looking at was when my period was going to come but I can definitely confirm that even on the first month of using this my period did come forward and I actually do track my period and I look back over the couple months I've been taking Agnes Castors and my period has literally been so regular to the point where I've actually come on the same day of every month as well um so yes yeah, in terms of regulating my cycle it has it, like exceeded my expectations like it's definitely done its job and also bear in mind i have taken less than what you actually can take as well so um yeah i think that's really impressive i do think that also does come down to the quality though so when it came to picking um the tincture that i was going to have the key thing you want to look at is the ratio so on the back um of this one it says specification and then it says extraction and there's a ratio so this one is one to three um, and that is showing you um how much alcohol there is basically to the concentrated um, herb it's basically telling you how strong the herb is inside so if you've got a ratio of like 1 to 16 that's pretty weak and um, so really good ratios things like I mean 1 to 1 is going to be really strong and um, 1 to 2 is good 1 to 3 1 to 4 but I wouldn't go anything beyond that so it's actually a really good bit of in like info to actually look out for when you're buying tinctures and that goes for anything like I was actually am um, taking echinacea because I love that um, for boosting your immunity and I was realizing the one that I was having the ratio was rubbish it was like I don't even know what it was but it was really really bad like 116 whatever um and yeah it just does make a huge huge difference if you pay attention to that ratio because like I said with this I actually took less and I still got really good benefits and it's down to quality from like a PMS perspective and kind of the symptoms around a period if I'm gonna be really honest I didn't really see like that much of a difference but then again I feel like I can't really form too much an opinion around this because my whole life I've never really been someone who majorly suffers with PMS. I do notice though I do um, start to get an odd migraine around ovulation now so that's like a new thing um, but I don't think that's indirect with Agnes Castus really at all. Um, so yeah from a PMS perspective I don't really think much has changed um, so I don't know if I'm taking it for that kind of reason. I can't really give my experience input on that one. Um, in terms of my skin, I do definitely think it has actually helped with that as well because the thing is, is that when you're supporting your hormones and your cycle is going to be more regular, naturally things are going to be more in balance. So yes, I do think it definitely has helped my hormonal breakouts. Um, I don't think it's a cure. I don't think for me it's been the one thing that's alleviated it altogether. I do actually think my skincare, to be honest with you, has played probably the biggest roll with my skin throughout the last couple of months. Like that Neil Jard moisturizer that I use, and um, funny enough actually, sorry going off a little tangent here, I actually went to buy another bottle of my moisturizer, which if you don't know, it's the Yarrow and Com so yeah, yeah, Yarrow and Comfrey um, moisturizer they do it for like um, oily combination skin. I went into the Neil Jard store to go buy another one and I was chatting to the um, person behind the till and she was like, oh, that's my favorite moisturizer. And she was like, she feels like it stops breakouts coming up. And I, then we had this like moment because I was like, 
I so feel you. Like, yes, it is so good for acne prone skin. Um, so yeah, I think that's also been a massive game changer when it comes to acne and breakouts for me. But obviously from a hormonal perspective, um, I do think this has, you know, helped. It's supported because it's helped with regulating my cycle. Um, now I am at the point with this where I don't want to like be on this all the time because you're not actually meant to so it's really good to use agnes castors for like an injection for like um you know a couple of months and then you come off it this is not something that you know you plan to be on for like years to keep things like regular so now i'm at that point where it's kind of like okay i think maybe when it's when it runs out i need to wean myself off of it um, and it'll be really interesting to see if my body maintains its rhythm um, so I guess maybe further down the line we can do another update on that, how my skin's been, and like my, not my skin, my hormones and everything have been coming off of Agnes Castus. Honestly, I think they're just the main points I have really to say around this. Um, I haven't actually noticed much of a difference in other areas. I mean, if you have a very specific question, like you want to know, has it made a difference on so-and-so, then let me know in the comments and I'll answer you down there if there's any like, you know, direct questions there. But in terms of my experience, this is what I have experienced. Um, and also another thing to say is that if you are thinking of trying Agnes Cassis, I mean, first off, um, they always say, you know, consult with your doctor and stuff like that, because also this doesn't go well if you're on like, for example, the contraceptive pill, that it makes no sense to use Agnes Castus at all. And um, I like, think that so if you're on any medication, you definitely need to double check your doctor because herbs can be very contradicting with a medication. So you always need to be safe and make sure that you're pairing things safely. And um, so always do that. But all I was going to say is that if you are thinking of taking Agnes Castus, um, I definitely recommend tincture over like capsules or any other methods. I think with tinctures, the quality is much higher. Um, and because of that, you get more benefits of them. And um, kind of goes to show that you know even I use less amount and I still got good benefits so um yeah that's one little like an observation I do think tincture is definitely pre preferred um and that point I said at the beginning always check the ratio of your tinctures because um that will tell you the quality anyway guys that is it for this video I really hope that it was helpful and interesting if you're interested in Ca Agnes Castus um I would love to hear your experiences as well if you have tried it and also please let me know um what your experiences were like coming off of it or any tips around that because i'm about to go through that phase um as well so that would be really really great to hear from you guys as well but anyway thank you guys so so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me and also come follow me over on my instagram account which is ebony's underscore acne underscore tips but to my side right now I'll pop another video if you want to go check out some more for me but i love you so so much and i'll see you in the next video Mwah. bye